The willow granny square is one of those crochet motifs that really lets you show off your crochet skills. After loads of regular granny squares, it's so fun to switch it up with something lacier and a little more ornate looking. And it's just as easy to incorporate the willow granny square into your designs for a very impressive looking project. So if you're a confident beginner with granny square experience, let's see if you can tackle the willow granny square. And I bet you can. I'm demonstrating today with DK weight cotton yarn and my furls 4mm hook. And I'll link to the review I did for this hook down below. The willow granny square starts with a center chain ring. So make a slip knot. Place it on your hook and chain four chains. And to join this chain in the round, we'll simply slip stitch into the first chain to complete our little chain four ring. To begin round one, chain up three, which counts as a double crochet. Then make a double crochet into the center of the ring. We'll continue making double crochets into the ring for a total of 16 double crochets in the little chain four ring, counting your starting chain three. Then slip stitch to the top of that chain to complete the round. To begin round two, chain up three. And I actually like to turn my work so that my granny square doesn't have right and wrong sides. And then chain one more. This chain four counts as a double crochet and a chain one. And into the very next stitch from the previous row, we'll make a double crochet. And chain one. Again, make one double crochet into the next stitch. and chain one. Continue working a double crochet chain one in each stitch of our little circle. And into the third chain of your starting chain four, slip stitch to complete the round. And that completes round two. Round three, chain three, which counts as a stitch, and turn. Into the space below, make two double crochets. And into the top of the next stitch, put a double crochet. Again, two into the space and one into the next stitch from the previous round. Continue two in the space, one in the stitch, all the way around your little circle and slip stitch to the top of your starting chain three to complete the round. Round four is the most unique one. We'll work a series of chain loops that we can use like a scaffold to build on top of later. So to start round four, chain six and turn. This counts as a single crochet and chain five. Take note of which stitch from the previous row is directly under your chain six, and after that stitch count one, two, and three, and work a single crochet into that third stitch of the round. Next, chain three, skip two, and work a single crochet into the third stitch. Chain four. Skip two. Work a single crochet into the third stitch. And while I'm working this row, I like to think five, three, four, three. Five, three, four, three. That's the sequence of chain numbers we're working into every third stitch. So if I ever lose count, I can go back to my first loop and count five, three, four, and now I know that I need to do a chain three. And work a single crochet into the third stitch.
Now the 5343 3 sequence begins again with a chain 5. Single crochet into the third stitch over on the previous row. Continue working your series of chain loops, 5343, 3, all the way around with a single crochet in every third stitch. And when you work your last chain 3 loop, make one single crochet into the first chain of your starting chain 6, or into the stitch right next to it, it doesn't matter too much, because we're going to also slip stitch into the center of that next chain 5 loop before we begin round 5. Now chain up 3, and we're actually not turning our work this round. Rather, work 4 more double crochets into that chain 5 loop. You can scooch them down a bit as you work, because we're going to chain 2 and work 5 more double crochets into the same chain 5 space. When all is said and done, you'll have a total of 10 double crochets, counting the starting chain 3, with a chain 2 between them, finishing one corner of the willow granny square. Next we've come to a chain 3 space. Work one single crochet into the chain 3 space. Next up is a chain 4 space, which will get 7 total double crochets worked into it, making a little 7 double crochet shell at the top of your willow granny square. Into the next chain 3 space, work a single crochet. And into the next chain 5 space, we've got to work another corner. So put 5 double crochets in there, chain 2, and five more double crochets. And now you've got all you need to finish this round. One single crochet in the chain three spaces, seven double crochets in the chain four spaces, and five double crochets, chain two, five double crochet into the chain five corners. So continue working all those stitch patterns into your chain spaces. And after you work your last single crochet in your last chain three space, slip stitch into the second chain of your starting chain three to complete the round. and you've got a little flower. All that's left is to do one more scaffold type row and then a border. So chain one, turn, and we're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet right there. Next, chain six, and make one single crochet into the center of your seven double crochet shell. So into the fourth double crochet from the previous row. Chain three, and make one double crochet into the next single crochet from the previous row. Chain four, and make one single crochet into the corner chain two space. Chain two, and make another single crochet in the same space. So now your corner chain space here is this new teeny tiny one. Chain four and make one double crochet into the next single crochet from the previous row. And now we're going to chain three and make one single crochet in the center of your seven double crochet shell from the previous row. 
chain three, double crochet in the next single crochet. Chain four and work that one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet corner all into the next corner chain space. Continue like this, chain four, double crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain four, and work a corner how I showed you. And keep going like that until you've come to your starting chain and slip stitch into the second or third chain of that starting chain six to complete the round. For round seven, chain three and turn. This chain three counts as a double crochet and we'll work four more double crochets into the center of this chain four space from the previous row. Now we're gonna do a corner into the little tiny corner space. By working three double crochets, chain two, and then work three more double crochets right into the corner chain space. Into the next chain four space, work five double crochets. Into each of the next chain three spaces, work three double crochets with no spaces between them. Then again, work five double crochets into the next chain four space, and if you recall how we just did our last corner, we'll do the same thing here. Three double crochets, chain two, three double crochet, all into that corner space. So that's how you'll do the corners and each of the chain four and chain three spaces. And when you've worked your last set of three double crochets, slip stitch to the top of your starting chain three to complete the round. Your Willow Granny Square is just about done. To really finish it off, we'll work one single crochet in each stitch from the previous row, and to do that, we'll chain one and turn. And make one single crochet in the next stitch. And the next stitch, and the next stitch. And all you probably need to know here is what to do in the corners. So into the corner chain spaces, you'll work two single crochets, chain one, two single crochets, to finish off that corner. Then you can continue working one single crochet in each stitch. And slip stitch into that first stitch to complete the round. That's how you crochet the Willow Granny Square. I hope you love using this fancy little square in a bunch of different ways in your next project. Try it out in place of a regular granny square, or make a whole darn blanket out of them. If you're interested in the Willow Granny Square tank top pattern that I designed, I've got it available for purchase on my website, and I'll link that down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!